Chapter 1008, Meeting. One battle to shock the world. The great blood devil army was annihilated, its overlords were murdered. Even the leader who was considered the greatest after immortal emperor Chen Zhu couldn't escape death. Blood flowed through the ruins and filled the barren earth. Even after several days, the stench of blood remained. Anyone who smelled it would shiver uncontrollably. In just one night, the southern region became quiet. The once arrogant blood race and all the other powerful existences, including god kings and those buried underground, were all quiet. The blood devil tribe won't be able to rise for another three generations. Even a blood ancestor spoke with forlorn. All of their ancestors had died in the battle. From now on, it wouldn't be an easy task for the fallen tribe to rise again. Some felt sorry while others were ambivalent about the end of the blood devils. Of course, there were those who were celebrating as well. The tribe that started from Wang Dongshan's generation had flourished too much. They were unified, unyielding, and ruthless. Eventually, they became the biggest branch among the blood race of this region. Ultimately, he was the reason for their downfall. The great efforts from several generations were all ruined due to his ambition. He was both their hero and sinner. On the second day after the destruction of the Blood Devils, a different branch of the Blood Race, the Crimson Knight Kingdom, sent out a message about the inauguration of their new king. They supported the new king overnight. Moreover, this new king was an unknown disciple from the kingdom, Siu Ani Uen. A few disciples in the kingdom couldn't help but ask, who is Siu Ani Uen? A fameless disciple suddenly became the new king. This was a very difficult matter to accept, especially within a kingdom that had two emperors. However, no one dared to question her crowning because something terrifying had happened in the kingdom on the day prior. A few people managed to find out the real story. On that night, a very ancient god king of the kingdom came into being. He personally exiled the majority of the imperial family, including more than ten ancestors. Immortal Emperor Kai's first branch once again has control over the kingdom. All of the storm god's confidants were either dismissed from their post or banished. An informed person secretly sent out this news. The appearance of this old god king allowed for Siu Ani Uen to become the new ruler overnight. It was a done deal. No one could do anything about it. The complete transfer of power was the Thunder Tower Lord's promise to Li Kai. At the same time, this was a chance of rebirth for the kingdom. This was because Siu Ani Uen was not only a person held in high regards by Li Kai, the Blood Bowl God Fian had the same opinion of her. This had quite some significance for the kingdom. Even though it was impossible to avoid spilling blood in this internal power struggle, they were able to have a new opportunity and escape the same fate of destruction like the Blood Devil tribe. The Blood Race is changing completely. This is the passing of an era. A wise man from the Blood Race recognized that something was amiss. The transformation of two great branches in the Blood Clan meant that the blood in southern region will move in a different direction from now on. While the southern region underwent these changes, Li Kai and Su Yong Wang's group had returned to the holy city. Inside their residence, a pleasant voice could be heard. This was a relaxing Buddhist chant with an unspeakable mysticism. Su Yong Wang entered the room to find Li Kai lying on Chen Beijiao. His head was resting on her firm and plump breasts while his legs were placed on Li Xuang Yun. He closed his eyes and had a very comfortable and pleased expression. Li Xuang Yun was holding a Buddhist scripture and reading the profundities of his faith out loud to Li Kai. At the same time, Chen Beijiao was peeling fruits and gently feeding them to her young noble, Su Yong Wang, as the master angrily glared at him after seeing him enjoying this situation so much. Alas, he deserved this type of emperor-like treatment. It was nothing compared to his overall accomplishments. Li Kai didn't bother opening his eyes and gently tapped the chair next to him while leisurely speaking. Sit down. Su Yong Wang sat down next to him and was annoyed by his complacent state. Don't forget, I am your master. Li Kai finally opened his eyes to look at Su Yong Wang who was within his reach and smiled. I know, you took advantage of me. Who would want to take advantage of you? Even the noble Su Yong Wang had a hint of coquetry as she glared at him. Li Xu Wang and stopped her chanting. Even someone as cold as her couldn't help but simper. Su Yong Wang looked over at her then to Chen Beijiao and spoke with a noble aura. You are resting on a beauty's chest in this debaucherous manner while listening to Buddhist chants. Don't you think this is disrespectful to Buddha? You are mistaken there. In this vast world, I am the greatest. Just a Buddha is nothing. And even if Buddha is the greatest in this world, doesn't he love all the common people? Anyway, he is not that different from us. Li Kai smilingly replied in a carefree manner. Then why are you listening to his scriptures? Su Yong Wang was curious. She had never seen him listen to these chants before. It had always been Li Xuang in reading the Grand Tao writings to him. Because I am Buddha and Buddha is me. I am not listening to the Buddhist scripture. I am accepting the charm of the Buddhist doctrine. Li Kai smiled. This is like a top class chef enjoying the delicacies cooked by another chef. What are you trying to say? Su Yong Wang wasn't expecting this response and stared at Li Kai who was still resting on Chen Beijiao's milky breasts. Li Kai got up at this time to face Su Yong Wang. The two were only inches from each other, so close that they could even hear each other's breathing. He gently lifted her beautiful chin while she looked at his profound eyes, letting him do as he pleased. Look at me. Yes, just like that. Li Kai spoke in a bewitching manner, causing others to be lost in his voice. The two continued to stare at each other. Li Kai carefully looked at her bright eyes. His gaze pierced through her pupils and could reach the deepest part of her mind. At this time, both Li Xuang Yin and Chen Beijiao thought that Li Kai was going to flirt with her, so they couldn't help themselves from chuckling. He continued to stare at her while her breathing became more rapid. A strange and misleading atmosphere rose, causing her heart to beat faster. A complete Yang Saint physique is worthy of its fame. Li Kai let go of her chin and nodded. This is a very pure version of the extreme Yang physique and can absolutely be considered unrivaled. You will reach grand completion before Li Xuangyun, so if she manages to surpass you, that would be too big of a letdown. 
Su Yong Wang glared at him and snappily retorted, Letting you down? Those words should be coming from me since I'm your master. Li Kai sat back down and rested on Chen Bei Jiao's chest once more before smiling leisurely. Don't forget that it was me who taught you the supreme law. Su Yong Wang snorted in response and spoke while looking at him. I have something to tell you. Half a year ago, a woman came to our sect. Li Kai didn't really care. So he casually asked, Who? Su Yong Wang responded, A woman who calls herself a Middle Continent Princess. She almost flipped our sect over and only left after she heard that you weren't there. Middle Continent Princess. He immediately sat up with a serious expression after hearing this. I almost forgot to tell you about this. Chen Bei Jiao quickly added, It is that Earth Immortal back at the corpse burial ground. Young noble, in our opinion, she is definitely antagonistic towards you. She is very powerful. I don't think anyone in our sect can stop her. If you know her, then you should know that it would have been easy for her to destroy our sect back then. Su Yong Wang spoke solemnly. As the sect master, she must always be thinking about the safety of the sect. What did she say? Li Kai slowly asked while looking at Su Yong Wang. She wanted to meet someone named Chu Yunchen and was unrelenting about it. She answered. Li Kai became silent after hearing this. This was an ill-fated connection inadvertently caused by him. In the end, it still had to come. He eventually lifted his head and inquired, What else did she say? Su Yong Wang said, before leaving, she said that if we find Chu Yunchen, tell him to come to the Buddhist funeral plateau, she will be staying there for a while. Having said that, she glanced back at Li Kai and revealed. She also added that if Chu Yunchen doesn't come to see her, she swears to destroy the cleansing and sense ancient sect one day. Li Kai sighed softly after hearing this. This was started by him so it should be ended by him. Who would have thought that after so many years, this ill-fated connection still remained? Who is Chu Yunchen? Su Yong Wang noticed something from Li Kai's expression and asked, Why did she come to cleansing and sense to find Chu Yunchen? 